All right, y'all, so I've been gaming on this PC with the stock cooler, and it's been getting hot, like 95 degrees, and that's no bueno. So today, we're gonna try to cool this off. There's two ways to cool off a CPU. One is using an air cooler, which we have today is the AK400 Digital. One cool thing I like about this is it has an LCD screen that's supposed to show me the temperature of my CPU is on plans. And overall, this thing only cost me 40 bucks. And it's basically just a radiator that connects directly to the CPU. The radiator fans dissipate heat while the fan blows away the heat. The other way is a AIO, which means all in one, which is similar to this, where there's a radiator, but there's also water chamber coming through a pump system that flows through the radiator as the fans blow uh, air through it. It's more effective, but more expensive and more moving parts. So we're gonna try this one out and if this doesn't work, then we're gonna move on to the AIO. Hopefully we don't have to, so let's get into it. So first I need to get this stock cooler off. However, due to a mistake I made, I actually need to install a whole entirely different motherboard. So while I'm installing this motherboard, I want to swap out these cables. And see how it's all ketchup and mustard. It turns out you can buy these uh, cable sleeves that clean it up. They're like extenders, you put them on, just connect it and connect and pull it through the back. It should be a clean look. Now I got the other motherboard in with the CPU in. I left the paste on so you can see you need to clean this off. You can do this with a paper towel or maybe some isopropyl alcohol. So now we got that nice and clean. Step one, of course, is to remove the OEM bracket. Now the brackets are off. Let's get this unboxed. Pretty lightweight. Of course, that's the fan. That's the radiator. The fan clips to the radiator. This should be a real simple installation. So this is the surface that connects to the CPU. And as you can see, it already comes with some thermal paste. Top holds your mounting brackets for different cards. You have one for AMD and you have one for Intel processors. So for AMD, you put these orange risers in the spot that you removed the original bracket. You're gonna use this bracket, line that up. You use these screws to hold down this bracket. And you want these two sharp pieces coming up because that's what the radiator is going to connect to. Here, the fans clip on, so you want to unclip the fans real quick. See these two screws on the side? What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down in there. And once they're lined up, you're going to screw one side a little, the other side a little, and alternate between both. Boom, that easy. Now, I'm going to run these lines down and shoot them through the back. I need to start making connections. This has RGB, so this first connection is an RBG header. Then I have another connection that needs to go to USB. This USB is what fuels this LCD screen. In the meanwhile, we'll connect the CPU fan to the CPU header, which is up here. And then I'm gonna clean up all this wire and we're gonna see if the system works. By the way, this clips back on using the fan clips for the radiator. Okay, we got everything hooked back up. New motherboard installed, clean cables. Okay, so I got everything running again. You can see even the LEDs on the cooler are working. Now I want to connect to the computer so I can show the temperature of the G, uh, CPU. To do that, you just go to their website and they're going to have some download software. All right, y'all. So I've been playing for about an hour and yeah, highest it got was like 65. That's a great improvement. So yeah. Once again, this is called the AK400 Digital and it comes with multiple sizes. And yeah, really gets the job done. So I think I'm pretty much done with this build. The next video, I'm going to outline the total cost of this build from the PC to the monitor to all my assessors, y'all stay tuned. And as usual, if you learn something, feel free to like and subscribe. Looking forward to making future videos.